Hey everyone, I'm Steve. Welcome back to Kettlehaven Ranch. In today's video, we're going to prep our hives for winter. That's putting down feed for them that they're going to have to live on, along with their own stores, all the way through the spring. Today's temperatures are not the best for opening up your hive. We're right at about 40 degrees right now with a little wind. Sorry for any wind noise on this uh, audio, but uh, there is some wind going and <laughs> I have stuff flying around on the set. Um, anyway, we're going to have to get in here and get some feed going because temperatures starting tomorrow, highs are predicted in the 20s and lows are down in the teens and maybe even a little lower. So we got to get some dry feed on the bees. It's way too late to be giving them any sort of syrup, um, anything liquid it's too late time to go with the dry being prepared and with your setup here is very important I have everything ready to go to open up the hive place the materials I need to place inside and get them closed as fast as possible now we're not worried too much about brood being affected by the colder temperatures of opening it but it is still a shock to the actual uh, winter bees that are in there to all of a sudden have all their heat escape. We're going to do a couple different things here. The first off, which I've already done, is if you use an IPM board uh, base, get that board slid in there to shut off the ventilation from the bottom of the hive. That's number one to do. Number two, what we're going to do, is we're going to open up the hive, we're going to remove the um, Varroa mite treatment that we have sitting on top. So we're going to pull the Apigard disc out and get rid of it. It's done its job. Then with the spacer, well, one inch spacer, we're going to go ahead and put newspaper, a thin layer, one or two sheets across right on the frame tops and then pour white sugar on top of that. Not a lot because they won't use it, but the white sugar, I really like it because as we'll see in the spring and in previous videos we saw, that white sugar absorbs the moisture from the hive over the course of the winter and actually becomes its own hard cake. Um, it, well, it's been cleaning up the air and keeping the moisture down, which is really good for the bees. That's a big killer. So we're gonna put that layer down. Then I'm gonna put my inner cover across. And on top of that, I'm gonna put another, either a medium super that's empty like this or we're going to go with uh, some of my feeder uh, adapted supers I have, which are shorter. And then we're going to take a layer on top of that. We're going to put a layer of straw. That straw is going to go ahead and help insulate the top of the hive, keep some of the heat in. But at the same time, it allows through the inner cover, the moisture to go up away from the bees and get absorbed even higher up. Uh, into the straw, which will pick up the moisture over the winter. After that, we're going to make sure that we have our spacer down on one side. I take just the one inch, which is actually 75 inch, and I set it down at the bottom of the base between the rail that the hives are sitting on and the base bottom to tilt or cant the uh, beehive just a little bit. So any moisture that does get in there if it condensates, it will flow down to the back of the hive away from the bees. Um, that's super important too. So we're going to be doing this quick. I'll talk a little bit as we go. But uh, the idea is always, it seems, get in and get out. Get the job done. Don't dilly-dally. Get out of there. Get them closed back up. And that's the way to be respectful of your bees. All right, I've adjusted the camera angle a little bit so you guys see a little bit better. We're going to take the top off. Set that aside, inner cover. Set this aside. And we got girls right here on top that are mad. <laughs> so we'll cover them real quick. All we're doing is setting the paper down on top and pushing it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. From there, we're gonna go with our sugar.
it's just a pound or so of sugar. Whoopsie. I got her buried. She's going to love that. Hopefully that's coming out in the camera. One of the girls got right into it, right off the bat. It is too cold for them though, right at the moment. We'll go ahead and close them back up. There we go. We'll take our extra super we have here, medium. That's going to go right there. Then I'm going to step off camera real quick and pick up. We'll go ahead and pick up the straw and bring it around the camera here. And then the straw just goes right in. It's just about a perfect fit, isn't that? Fluff up the top a little bit. Put the top cover back on. Make sure everything's snug and lined up. Move this a little bit. There we go. There, now we're ready, hopefully, till April. Okay, let's open up the next one, do that real quick. Once again, outer cover off. This one, the inner cover. There we go. On this one, I actually used a, a puck, a disc. And let's see. I feel warmth coming up, so they are in there. We'll put our sheet of newspaper down. Does it have to be perfect wall to wall? No. Just lay it down there. Get your sugar. And there we go like that. Now, if you want to, and I've seen people do this, I've never seen it make a difference with mine. Um, you can take your knife, pocket knife, and go ahead and find the space between some of the frames. Just give it a simple little push through. Let's see if we can find another one here, right here. There we go. Just to give the bees, A, a little taste of what's up there, and B, uh, to give them a place to chew through, which they'll chew through the whole thing eventually. Inner cover back on. And then I have one of my feeding supers over here. We'll put that back on like that. We'll take our straw and put our straw in. Fits just about perfect. There we go. And then the outer cover is going to come on top of that. Here's another thing to consider when prepping your hives for winter. Number one, I like to take and clean off my landing boards. The entrance, get it all cleaned out. This is going to be your indicator through the season, how many dead bees you end up getting out here will tell you how the hive's doing inside. Because bees are gonna be dying all the time through the winter. And having an idea how many they're going, and if they're still cleaning out the hive, that's probably the best benefit there. I know my hive is pretty much still alive if I have a couple dead bees out here every once in a while. So every time I come out to the hive, I'll check it, clean it off, we're good to go. The other thing I wanted to point out real quick, see my spacer here? That spacer runs all the way underneath the hive and it's giving a three quarter inch lift on the very front, causing any moisture in here to flow to the back and down the back wall instead of raining down on top of the bees. 
I do that with all my hives. I vary them, either they point at the front or point at the back, it doesn't matter. As long as you have an angle there uh, for that to sit at. So that pretty much has set them up for the winter. We won't be opening these back up until April. I don't think, looking at the weather forecast, uh, at least near term, we'll have temperatures warm enough to do that, even temperatures above freezing. So they're set up now. They've already gone through a little boost, or a little taste, I should say, of winter. Uh, we had about eight inches of snow just a week or a week and a half ago. So they already got locked in for a bit. They're out right now doing their cleansing flights as we're hovering right around 40, 42 degrees. And uh, these are good bees, love them. They've already been cleaning out and cleansing themselves, getting ready for the long haul over the winter. The extra dry feed, that's gonna help. The insulation is gonna help. And then also remember to cant your, your actual beehives just a little bit so that moisture rolls down the back. Hope you guys are all having success with your hives. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. You guys know the mantra. And uh, get through what the next phase, the next phase of COVID. Yeah, everyone's getting tired of it. I know I am. Take care, stay healthy. We'll see you in the next video.